Well, here's the latest ones, folks. Hello, YouTubers. I just picked this one up just now, today. Another $40 special. But luckily, this one, not like the 5818 I did, is not seized. No unit was changed somewhere along the road. It's in primer. Um, nothing's broke, which is good. A couple minor things I got to deal with. Screw clamps, somebody put a, a bolt. Which is very common. Um, the till is not broke. It actually works. All the knobs are there. I think it's a 60. 10, I got to double check the numbers. Latch works in the back, which is pretty good. You gotta love these uh, early motors. Power head looks kind of cruddy. No paint on the cylinder head. Um, motor's not seized. Which is a good thing. That's why I don't have to deal with that problem anymore, you know. Got compression, both cylinders. This is a definite runner here. Nice little repair job with the rubber seal on the plate for the cover. But I got plenty of parts for this one too, so this should be pretty easy to get this one going. Usually these kind of motors, I can get them going within a half hour or so. Usually. You know. Um, the shifter works. I think everything down below is good too. Neutral. Yep. Reverse. Yep. Somebody put a just lay a fuel pump just laying in here, which is they put a a larger later model fuel pump in there. I'll put the smaller one back in there again. The correct plate. Oh, so actually this might be a, could be a 58 or a 59. No, it could be a 59. Maybe you never had the uh, fuel pump on it. They just converted it. But I'll check the numbers. I think uh, they made this style for three years. 59, 60, and 61. But I'm going to, you know, power wash it like I do all my other motors. This one don't need it that, as much as the other ones. But, you know, I'll work it from there. So here we go again. This is the first part of a series on getting this uh, old 10 horse Johnson back online again. Purring like a kitten. Thanks for watching.